One of the great things about Builder is that you can see all of your pages inside of the canvas at once. But as your projects get bigger, you might have dozens, if not hundreds of pages throughout your application. And so with that in mind, Builder introduced this concept called workspaces. It doesn't influence how your pages work together or which web pages are assigned to what URLs. It's simply a way for you to organize your pages inside of workspaces similar to a file folder system. So in this case, we're in our website page. This is where we have all of the public website images and pages throughout the application. As you build, you're going to find, you know what? My app actually kind of has totally different pages involved with it. There's a different home page, maybe a different menu, maybe a different footer. And I want to keep those separate from my home page. And so I have a whole workspace just dedicated to pages for my particular web app application. The same goes for, let's say, a user authentication flow. Throughout your application, you might decide there's a lot of different flows from having a new user sign up for your application all the way through to flows that are inside of your particular app. You want to make sure you get down, they're really organized, and maybe you're even testing different variations over time. So having those all organized in their own separate workspaces is really, really helpful to staying organized. Another way that we see our workspaces used is creating a style guide workspace where you have a space just dedicated to clarifying for yourself and the team, here's the style guide of what my application should look like. And so here are my headers, here's the font that I'm using throughout the application, even down to your inputs and the button types and styles that you're gonna use throughout that site as well. Possibly one of the most common things that we see in addition to workspaces designed to organize your app are workspaces to design to organize your collaborators. So as your team grows, let's say I wanted to have a couple different workspaces for specific team members. A pro way of using Builder, it's let's say right now, Josh, myself, is responsible for creating a new version of the homepage. I can click on the homepage, really easily duplicate it so I'm not overriding any existing work. Call it Josh. And let's move this over to Josh's workspace. Now, if I go over to the Josh workspace, I see the home page right here. It's its own page entirely. I can start editing it, working with the new updated version that I want to, and it's not influencing the current web page that's live at all. Anyone can come into my workspace and see that work, but I don't have to worry about overriding anyone else's work along the way. And when I'm done, all I have to do is send it back over to the website, jump over there. And if I wanted to, I could go ahead and replace the old website with the new one visually for everyone to see and everything is ready to go.